Today for tens of thousands of striking Boeing employees, union and company leaders are offering a newly revised contract. So today, union members get to decide on whether they're going to ratify that deal. Amy Kiley reports the vote will determine if the walkout continues. It's so important that Boeing get everybody back to work. Boeing union members vote on a new contract today that could end their strike. The walkout involves about 33,000 workers and has lasted more than a month. It's paralyzing Boeing's airplane manufacturing. I want our company to solidify this thing and let us come back to work. Some employees seem on board with the new deal. It involves a 35% wage increase over four years, the reinstatement of an incentive program, a ratification bonus, and a one-time 401k boost. It's not good enough, and it's not a step in the right direction. Other employees sound unimpressed. Some want a return of Boeing pensions. The company says that is not going to happen. One-time lump sum into a 401k is not a pension. A $7,000 signing bonus is not a pension. The strike's costing Boeing an estimated billion dollars a month, and it's costing the country, too. The company contributes about $79 billion to the U.S. economy annually. It's the nation's largest exporter and a U.S. military supplier. The U.S. Defense Department is at least 50 percent of what Boeing does, and that is incredibly important to keep just for our safety in the U.S. I'm Amy Kiley reporting.